So first of all, you want to make a blank layer. Put it underneath your layer. And then you want to go to File, Fill, uh, Shift F5 if you've got the shortcut. And go to 50% Gray. Then press OK. Now once you've done that, you want to sort out your pen. So you click your pen tool, go up to the top there, hard brush, and you want to change the roundness. So it's like a sphere, something like that. Uh, whack it out to the triangle there, see it right there. Then what you want to do is make a layer mask of your original image. I personally like to zoom what you want to do in there. So now you can click layer mask, add another layer, drop it underneath. I've got my opacity at 100, my flow at 100, my smoothness at 30, and percentage really, you change percentage by using your left and right arrow keys, and then they change the angle of the brush. You want to get right into the corners there. Make sure you click your uh, layer mask. So you get right in there. You click the R button and the uh, right uh, button and you can spin it around. Alright, let's go back to the uh, smoothness. So if white smooth is down to zero, it gives me no like drag, it's, it, it just goes straight along. Whack out 10%, it gives me a little bit of drag or 12%. If I whack up to 30, as you can see here, whack up to 30, Gives me like a nice look drag. See, it's just nice, just so I can get right to the close. And if I go to, when I pull it out, it done. It follows it as like a smooth transition. Much better. To change the size of the brush, what I tend to do is I use the. Um, Alt and control and right click and then you just move left and right on the um, to make it bigger. So left and right on the mouse or left and right on the walk tablet, just hold the and above it and it should move it um, bigger and smaller and then you get right into the nits and crannies and or if you want to take out a bigger thing to the right or quickly smooth over. Obviously you can take your time and do this. I'm just doing this for the tutorial. Um, so I'm not doing nothing really that fancy. I'm just zooming in, painting it on, and then
So once you've completely gone around the subject that you're uh, cutting out, what you want to do is click on the layer mask, press Alt and click on the layer mask. Um, and then you're seeing that outline. I'll just show you in a second. Just have a quick chip. There you go. Right, so as you can see, uh, I'll just zoom out. It goes, it's complete. It goes all the way around. There's not a gap. Then what you do is you press Alt and then press all your layer marks. It will come up like this. So then what you do is <coughs> I'm over exaggerating. So you click on the magic one tool, you click on the white layer, go up to uh, select and go to modify and then go to expand now obviously I've done this as a really big thing I think on the actual one I did it at 10% or 5% um, and then you go to your image no edit sorry and go to fill or shift F5 if you've got it set up and then you want to change uh, contrast to black press OK and then you click on your um, original layer and that's it, it's all cut out, ready to go. Um, obviously I'm going to flip back to the other one now. So once again click on the layer mask, uh, you go to uh, uh, select, choose modifier, go to expand, I've done 10% I believe on this. And then you go to uh, edit, fill, black, and then OK. And then you just click on your uh, layer mask again, and it gives you this. Wow. Right, I'm going to quickly show you now. I've loaded it up onto with another photo underneath it, so I can move it around, show you it's all cut out. Uh, Control and T is how I use the um, move it and resize it. There you go. Um, next time I'll show you how to cut out using track channels. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this sort of thing. Thank you very much.